<laughs> Please like, share and subscribe our channel to learn and enjoy our free online educational videos from class nursery to 10. Please click the bell icon to get all new updated videos. Chapter 3 Growing Plants All living things have a limited lifespan. Therefore, they have developed ways through which they can reproduce so as to continue their existence and multiply in numbers. Like all living beings, plants also produce their own kind. Reproduction Reproduction is the process by which living things produce individuals of their own kind. Plants produce young plants. The reproduction in plants is done as following. Most plants reproduce through seeds. Some plants reproduce through spores. Some plants reproduce through parts of their body. Reproduction through seeds. Many plants bear flowers on them. The flowers change into fruits, which carry seeds in them. Some fruits carry only one seed, while some fruits carry many seeds. Plants like mustard, rice are growing from seeds. Structure of a seed. The seed of a plant consists of the following parts. Number 1. The seed coat. It is the hard outer covering of the seed that protects the interior parts and saves them from drying out completely. 2. Cotyledons. The cotyledons are the seed leaves. They provide food to the baby plant or embryo and also protect it. Seeds with two cotyledons are called dicot seeds, while seeds with one cotyledon is called a monocot seed. Examples of some seeds like corn and onion have one cotyledon. Seeds like peanuts and rajma have two cotyledons. Number 3. Embryo Embryo is the baby plant inside the seed. When conditions are favorable, it forms a seedling. Seed germination Germination is the process by which a seed grows into a baby plant, embryo, under suitable conditions, including the right amount of sunlight, moisture, and temperature. With all these, the seed swells and a tiny white root develops from the seed. This is called sprouting. The root grows towards the ground and fixes the seed in place. Soon, tiny leaves begin to develop inside along with the shoot, which pushes up the soil. The seedling grows in two directions. One part of the young plant grows downward. This part forms the root system. The other part grows in the upward direction. This part forms the shoot system. The seedling uses the food stored in seed leaves only till the time it grows its own leaves and starts preparing food. All the seeds produced by a plant may not grow into a plant. Some are destroyed by bad weather. Some are eaten by animals, while others may not find proper conditions to germinate and grow. Let us look at the conditions required for germination. Keep the gram seeds in moist cotton at room temperature in an open dish for 4 to 5 days. The seeds will germinate. Keep the gram seeds without water in an open dish at room temperature. Seeds will not germinate. Keep the dish containing seeds in moist cotton in a trough containing ice or refrigerator. Seeds will not germinate. You will observe that only seeds in the first condition show germination. This happens because the seeds in condition 1 get air, water and warmth needed for germination. Reproduction through spores Some plants such as ferns, moss and fungi do not produce flowers. They do not produce seeds. They produce tiny spores. Such spore grows into a new plant. Reproduction from other parts of the plants the method of reproduction in which a new plant grows from any of the other parts of the old plant without involving the seeds is called natural vegetative reproduction. It is a faster method of growing a new plant. It helps to grow those plants which bear no seeds, like banana. New plants from roots. The roots of some plants like radish, carrot and cassava produce buds which grow into a new plant. In some plants like lemon and tamarind, root cuttings when put in moist soil form root and shoot, thus a new plant develops. New plants from underground stems Potato, ginger and onion are underground stems. Food is stored in the stems. Potato and ginger have buds on their surface. Under suitable conditions, each bud grows into a new plant. 
The buds of potato are called eyes. Any piece of a potato with an eye can grow into a new plant. New plants of onions grow from bulbs when they are planted in the soil. New plants from leaves. The bryophyllum plant produces plantlets along the edges of its leaves. When these plantlets mature, they fall off from the leaf on moist soil and produce new plants. Artificial vegetative reproduction. Some plants like rose, hibiscus, bougainvillea, sugarcane and cotton have buds on the stem. The small cuttings of these plants are called stem cuttings. If you plant a stem cutting having one or two buds into the soil, after a few days the stem cutting grows into a new plant. Dispersal of seeds. Plants cannot move on their own, so nature has developed ways to scatter their seeds. Seeds are dispersed by agents such as wind, water, birds, insects and animals. These agents are called agents of dispersal. Water. Water helps in dispersal of seeds of plants living in water or place near it. The lotus plant has a spongy part and the coconut fruit has a thick fibrous coat. These special parts enable the lotus and coconut fruits to float in water. So, when a coconut falls from the tree into water, it flows and travels with the water to far off places. Wind Some seeds are light and have special tufts of hair or wings that help them float in air and carried away by the wind from one place to another. For example, cotton, dandelion and mother seeds have tufts of hair around them. Hiptage, maple and sycamore trees have wings attached to them. Animals Seeds are dispersed by birds, animals and humans. Humans and animals eat juicy and fleshy fruits like mango, apple and watermelon and throw away their seeds. Seeds of plants like xanthium, tiger nail and spear grass have hooks or spines. They stick to the hairy skin of animals or clothes of humans and are carried away. Some seeds are eaten by birds and animals. These seeds have tough seed coats so that they do not get digested. So when birds and animals swallow them, they come out intact in their waste materials. The seeds are dispersed to other places. Explosion of fruits Some fruits burst open or explode when they become dry. The force of explosion helps the seeds to scatter away. The dispersal of pea pod, geranium and balsam seeds take place by explosion. Plants from different countries all fruits and plants that we see did not originate in India. Many originated in other countries. Some plants and their origins. Tomato originated in South America. Peanut originated in South America. Onion in Egypt. Lemon in Europe. Coffee in Ethiopia. Cucumber in China. Watermelon in South Africa. Potato in South America. Mangoes in Malaysia. Grapes in Iran. Tobacco in Portuguese, cabbage in Mediterranean region. Spices are obtained from plant parts like buds, seeds, flowers, leaves, bark, roots, etc. They add flavor to the food. Some of the spices, their Indian names and origin. Coriander is dhania, the origin is from Romania, Morocco. Cumin, jeera, origin in India, Iran. Cinnamon, Dalcini, Sri Lanka, Southern India. Black pepper, Kali Mirch, originated in India, Indonesia. Cloves, Long, they originated in Indonesia. Time to relearn. Plants reproduce through seeds or through other parts such as roots, stems and leaves. The outer covering of a seed is called the seed coat. Seed coat protects the embryo from drying out. Food supply is packed around the embryo in the form of special leaves called cotyledons. When a seed gets water, air, sunlight, it starts growing into a baby plant embryo. This is called germination. Wind, water and animals are some agents that help in spreading seeds to different places so that the seeds get enough sunlight, air and water to germinate.